Him say, Fim Jesus, Fim God. Wun go on a league of nation, a, a bully for fire and brimstone and thing would have come down upon him, enemy them. Now, Mr. Jennings, I know say, this is going to be now the main thing I've said the whole day. You're not going to hear about nothing else when I say about this. <laughs> Blessed love, my viewers and subscribers. Well, go on. Open all doing good. Open all doing great. Now, we're there again on the Stepping Razor program. This is actually the latest one of February the 9th, 2024. Now, people, there's a whole lot of festivity going on over here, people. Muta Baruka, Rush Vegas, and Gino Genic Wicked. But when we say Rush, people, don't take it in a physical way. It's spiritually. And people, you know, Muta Baruka known for a lot of spiritual battle and he, he fought and win a lot. So people, you know, this one is going to be warm. So we could check this out without wasting any more time. And before we go ahead, you know, it's a black power movement. So drop a like and share to a friend, you know, and definitely subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Without wasting any more time, we could go into the video and check out what Muta Baruka have to say about Mr. Vegas. And Gino Jenny. Yeah, let's stay tuned. This one is really, really rough, my people. So let's go. If we not do it, we don't know who I will do it if we not do it. Trust me. It have to be done, though. It have to be done. So, you know, I never, I, I, I think in my mind, I say I never ever said nothing about this, you know, but I have to mention it. Trust me. I have to mention it. You know, there's a pastor on the television. Well, on the TV, on the YouTube, him come with all sorts of subject, all sorts of thing, and him ridicule everybody. Him a ridicule. The last person I see me that ridicule was the one with him, T.D. Jakes. But apart from that, him is the most righteous of all of the the the, the pastor. Them at least him put himself that way there, very righteous and arrogant and. You know, I think him did have a little thing with um with my with my DJ Bridge name again. <laughs> she like a remind me of us. Vegas. Yes. My wife like was running with Vegas. But here one now. Just accidentally, me I run through my YouTube thing. And I see him come up and I say, Ah, I need it. Rastafari is last year. I'm here a bridging a lick out against him saying feel low. I listen to that and Bob, Bob Marley name. I don't know what he said before. I have when he said this, so why the bridge and I react to it. But one of the things them when he said, as some of them people are just, anyway, one of the things them when he said is that if I listen to that, he was the king of kings and the lord of lords. Him say, I still have dead. That is where I try to emphasize now. Say, I still have dead. And furthermore, if he was the king of kings and lord of lords, according to a Rasta say, because him say, it's a lie. It's a lie. Him, him just say it, it's a lie. Him is not no king of kings and him not no lord of lords. Because it's in the Bible say, the king of the kings and lord of lords is Jesus Christ. So him go and go say, no, How oh, is it that this divine person, this king of kings and lord of lords, when Mussolini attacked Ethiopia, him, first of all, he said the United Nation. It wasn't the United Nation. It was the League of Nations. I just last got to the League of Nations. Figure beg support. He said, Fim Jesus, Fim God. Wouldn't go on a League of Nations, a, a bully for fire and brimstone and thing would have come down upon him, enemy them. Now, Mr. Jennings, I know say, this is going to be now the main thing I've said the whole day. You're not going to hear about nothing else when I say about this. Because <laughs> we know the youth them stay. Now, I say, no, Mr. Jennings, watch you now. First of all, at 2,000 years, who don't say Jesus dead? Two thousand years. And every day we hear him so come, him so come, him so come. One, Jesus dead. But oh him dead is really problematic. Because I listen to when to the League of Nations 
because he want to tell the League of Nations that what them doing to a small country like Ethiopia is not supposed to happen. He must call upon all the people them who is a member of the League of Nations to see what Italy is doing to him country and them need to act or else terrible things going to happen. Which terrible things going to happen? But not a part that we are talking about. Jennings say, for him, Jesus, now nah, go beg nobody nothing. Yet still, Mr. Jennings, I don't know who you is, I'm going to see you on TV, I don't know. Well, maybe now you're going to start to see me, you know. <laughs> start to see me, you know, look here. Jesus Christ, according to the Bible, and according to Christians, died one of the worst that any person can dead die in a room in a in a in a in a Palestine. What happened? Mr. Palestine deliberately too. Mr. Palestine deliberately. What happened? He was given a crucifixion. He was crucified on a cross that was put there for the worst of criminals. And when he was on the cross, he was begging to come off the cross. Lord, forgive them for they know not what they do. If you can't take this cup from him, make it go make it pass. He was begging according to the Bible. He was begging to come off the cross. No, Mr. Jennings, if that man that you profess to be the son of God and an extension God. How oh, come him get kneel, kneel upon a cross and died one of the most gruesome death any criminal ever dead in a in a in a in a in a, in a, in a Israel. I don't know how you explain that. Because here you are and I tell me now say your God wouldn't have to go and leave. First of all, they never have no League of Nations there. That's the first thing. And you say United Nations, not United Nations. What, what, why, why don't you so, why don't you just don't do one of the Because we see the confusion for a long time, you know. That's why we move from it. We see the confusion from a long time, so we move from it. But don't come in, amplify the confusion. By feeling say so you have one over Rasta. Because Rasta God go a, 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 a League of Nations to go plead the cause of appeal. That is what head of state do if you don't understand it. That is what head of states do. That is what people do. Protocol. You go to the organization that just like oh South Africa went to the International Court of Justice to plead the cause of the Palestinian people. Every, every government do that. Now, can you please explain to me how your God allow some, some Romans to put him on a cross and murder him? Put him on a cross and murder him. And then now, you're going to tell me now, say, my God is not no God. He is not no King of Kings. He is not the Lord of Lords. Because him go beg for help. Your God was begging for help. And nobody ever helped him. And when I listen to say, plead the cause of the people of him country, they him say, you have struck the match in Ethiopia and it shall burn Europe. And if the world had listened to Isla Selassie years ago, World War II would not have started. I want him to know that. Sweet day with you. So, you know, years ago, a man, a big man, write a headline in the paper, say, Rasta, must start dreaming 
because Eileen Selassie is dead. Why not? All right. So Rasta G. Mukai Eileen Selassie is dead. At 2,000 years. 2,000 years. People, I believe, in our man were dead 2,000 years. And them say, I'm going to come back. You know what people dead in other 2,000 years until now? I'm not, I'm not realize what I'm saying. I'm not realize what I'm saying. So how oh, the millions of people who believe in this man were dead 2,000 years ago, how oh, them not stop believing in him? How oh, them not stop believing in him? Them not stop believing in him because them think they're going to come back. They must stop believing in him because them since say the in blood are gonna watch them these things. It's a madness. Now this man, Jennings, as he's called, I see him all the while, you know, and you know, I just I see him move up and down on the stage and I'll talk still. He, he, he talk some good things where I accept and believe in her. You know, that I hear my lick against the Christmas tree. But when him go say no, Ireland Selassie is not the king of kings. Who decides that somebody is king of kings? No man. Who decides that a man is a prince? No man. Who decides, say, you is mister, you is a doctor, you is a philosopher, you is a this? A man I decide that. You read how the Bible say, Jesus Christ is the King of Kings. You read in that Ethiopian history, say you have many kings in Ethiopia, but the Emperor is the King of the Kings, King of all the Kings in Ethiopia. So I don't, I don't get it. Why that is really a problem? Maybe you should, have, maybe you should have try get into the philosophy. And also the cultural expression of Rastafari. And then communicate it. And then say, what I want. And I hear my brethren going, I'm, I don't know which part. Vegas sit there in I'm church or whatsoever. And I'm saying, usher him out. Now, like when talk so much, and him have so much monologue with himself. Why him don't get some ba- people who have opposing view, like Vegas? For sure, him say, you say what you say, I'm going to show you something. Remember Ian Bowen? Ian Bowen have a program. And him no uncle talk to the people, them. him talk with the people, them. I'm a brethren. Because even though him try to match me up a whole heap of time, when we done the conversation, them. When we are coming off of the TV, he comes to the man them and say, Oh, come you make the rat man do you so on the TV. Cause I know say what me articulate of a legitimate philosophical truth. No, this man is a arrogant. And when I say I'm arrogant, I'm arrogant. Yeah, very arrogant. And I hear no him I say. I just last to go to the, the, the United Nations, the League of Nations, go plead the cause of him people. If he was the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, he would have bring down fire and earthquake and all these things. Then, oh, when Jesus Christ is dead, he never do all of these things and save himself and save him nation. And uh, I just last to never talk for himself, you know. He might talk for him nation. I'm nation, he might talk about. When Jesus Christ is upon his cross, I himself matter about, you know. He want the cup pass from him. He said, Father, Father, why have thou forsaken me? And when you look over him, he said, King of the Jews. Who did believe, say, my King of the Jews in them time there? Nobody never believed it. A Christian comes to that. And most of the things where them say about Jesus are Paul, Paul them fella, and Paul never know no man named Jesus. I hear him hear about this man. 
So all the thinking, all the letters them I'm write to the Romans, the Galatians, the Ephesians and all these things. I know me I'm write it too. He might write to the Romans. He might write to the Collisions. All the people there in a Turkey or Europe. More of them, most of them is in Turkey. Where we know, we used to call it Constantine, Constantine. So, me don't know, me don't know. I mean, know, so this is going to be the, the all mark of today's program. Because <laughs> we know the youth have stay, but I, I, I couldn't make it pass. I couldn't make it pass at all. It bothered me. It bothered me that rat, rat, them come. Rats are on the god dead, so what not deal with? Then tell me something. Oh, people say Jesus are God, they're never dead. Why, 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 why is it a problem? Why is it a problem? I there. I there. Who knows that it's last dead? Who knows that it's last I dead? Come forth and tell me. We go at Jerusalem in the sepulchre. Why are you look to a rebel? We go in the sepulchre to a rebel. We are rebel and we look in there. And we see people are crowding and gather and the stone with them put in pan. Them say Jesus well, the pan of stone there. We see people come from all over the road and touch the stone and lay down upon the stone. You're supposed to get ill by the stone. And I bet you any money when them come back at them country where them come from. The sick person who they was chanting for on the stone. Still sick and still have one foot. Because after this day, no Ch- J- Jennings or Jenkins or what's my Yes. Can't tell me, say, him get ill from a one leg and have him two legs. Historical references. Very important and vital to the development of a people. Because if you lose, you lose that chain link. If you lose that link, you, you, you're in a serious problem. You're in a very serious problem. And everybody else understand them historical link except we. Everybody, them understand all the other races, them understand the input. Look at the Chinese when them come here. Them, you think them leg of them culture, where them know China, and them teach them pick me too. Yes. Them teach them pick me. So when we are, have all the world, if a European this and European that, and we don't have nothing to really identify with as a people, and even though, sorry, even if we have things to identify with as a people, we don't cherish it. We don't give it credence. You know, see it? We don't give it credence. That's why I always refer to this movie here, uh, where the Mali movie where we see people that get credence to this Rasta man, ganja smoking, laxed, dirty Rasta man, will become one of the most famous Jamaicans ever. And them get credence to it. We are saying, we have to wake up. Yeah, we have to wake up. We're sleeping too long. We're sleeping just too long. When we are going to realize how important our things is. Very important that we understand that. And especially the youth, them. Yes. You know, I hear some other things say, Pam, Pam Sang, you know, say, no, no, friend. Yeah, I'm not trust nobody and all them something there. It's a serious thing when you're their own people, other human beings, and you can't trust nobody. <laughs> what a situation you live in now. What a situation. Some man has said not even woman him trust. Well, may I tell you? When a man look on life that we are there, he must have to check himself. Watch a man, I know every tune where you listen to, you're supposed to whine your back man and go down and get up and everything. You have somewhere, the lyrics is very important. When him all bad man, bad man about the rhythm and the lyrics, which are, him feels more important. Him say the lyrics. 
Because I'm write it. And I know why I'm write it. I not just write lyrics. So we hear all the sisters sing all them songs here. Yeah. And the one before we hear AJ Brown. And others where we really play. We don't just play music on radio because we have music for play you now. We are play because we want the people them listen. And if they want them move them body, I saw. But the most important part I when me I go I saw. Is to make you take a stock. And where the artists them I say, where the musicians them I say, whether it'll deal with the love of a woman, or it'll deal with yourself, change your life, or so. That is where really where we are talking about. So, we will go back to her now. How much one they pan the corner with them dog them with a cup in him hand and a spiff in the other hand? How much one pan the corner teach? Or how much in our conversation we can gather certain knowledge and understanding of things, no matter what the thing is? With the conversation there. With the conversation there. We talk about Panikana now, with the dog them. So we call one another dog. And then they blame Rasta. Rasta talk about daughters of Zion and Empress and King and Queen and all them princess. We are on the other side come with dog and bitch and oh and all these things. And people refer to it. Bro, God, and all these things. <laughs> wow, me I tell you. Me I tell you. Okay, so, we have a, um, we have an interview here. Me could see what is, me could see where we are working with you now. All right, the director of children and family programs called it CPFSA. Uh, Mr. Warren Thompson. Good afternoon. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right. So, you have to give me everything about this thing, I know, right? The <laughs> CPFSA, yes. what it is all about, why is it that we should know about it? And just tell me, what, what, tell me the whole thing. The whole all right. Yeah. All right. So, you know, the CPFSA is the Child Protection and Family Services Agency. Now, that is the agency with responsibility for children, um, children who are in the care of the state, right? Yeah. So, when a child is removed from a family, for example, when we talk about children who are placed in children's homes or foster care, children who are being abused, um, the responsibility falls on the Child Protection and Family Services Agency, CPFC, uh, to provide care for them. Okay. So, so, what we're having today is our annual CSEC CAPE Awards ceremony. You know, when children come into care, a lot of people expect that, you know, a lot of the state is going to um, not necessarily have the best educational outcome. Mm -hmm. But each year we do this award ceremony, one, to recognize our, um, let me say, our high achievers, okay. as well as to, 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 to make it known to other people that children who come into the care of the state actually do well. We have some of them who, um, you know, pass eight subjects, nine subjects at um, CXC, and then go on to tertiary education, go to the universities and the colleges that we have here. Okay. So, um, last year we had 170 children who oh, yeah? sat um, ex external exams at CSEC, our CAPE, yeah. um, you know, the ones who went to sixth form, and we had maybe about, um, we had nine, not me, we had nine who did other external exams, like City and Gills, right? So today we are in person awarding 63 of them who pass four or more subjects. And then those who pass, the remaining 107 who pass less than four subjects um, receive certificate of merit. So it's really just to recognize them for the hard work and to encourage them to keep working hard, you know, to, to, to push so that so, they so have a, a good outcome. So where is this award taking place? Where, where, where so so today, uh, the award ceremony is at, is at the Terra Nova Hotel. Okay. Yes. So as I said, we have 63. And these youth, these youth come from a different place in Jamaica. How it go? Tell me how it go. 
All right, so the awardees are coming from all across the island. Right. So in addition to, you know, recognizing the 63 of them, right. we're also giving awards for top boy and top girl for each region. So we are divided into four regions. That mm-hmm. is our northeast region, St. and St. Mary Portland, the southeast region, that is um, Keith and St. Andrew, St. Thomas, and St. Catherine. Our um, southern region, Clarendon, Manchester, St. Elizabeth, and the western region, West Milan, St. James, Hanover, and Chilani. So in each region, we are, we are recognizing the top boy and the top girl for each region, right. as well as recognizing a top boy and top girl overall. All right, so it's a, it's a government agency, or you get sponsors fee? Tell me. Well, the, so the CBMSA is a government agency, but okay. we do, you know, we can't do everything by ourselves. So we do rely on support from um, private sector entities. Our mm. main sponsors today are the Supreme Ventures Foundation, one of okay. our longstanding partners, as well as the Jamaica National Bank, particularly the Youth Banking um, Division. All right. If the children them come from all over the island now, how you go about selecting the best one from each place? Or what is the criteria for be the best in that place, best in that place, and best right. in that place? So, so for, like, for like the top boy and top girl. So we look at the number of passes. So, and, and it's the number of passes within the year. So if a child, you know, you have some youngsters who will go to school and they start doing C-sec subjects from grade 8, grade 9, grade 10, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We, we, don't, we, don't, we don't count those passes. It's the number of um, exams taken and passed within the specific year. Okay. So um, we're looking at all the exams sat in 2023, May, June exams in particular, mm. in 2023. Right. And the, 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 the child would have had the, the highest number of passes at that sitting would have been awarded the, the top boy the top, top girl boy, for, top for their region. Right. All right. So, um, yes, yeah. right. All right. Talk, 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 talk. No, man, I was going to explain the, the CAPE Awards. So what yeah. we do so for, the, for the CAPE Awards now, um, if we, we award the youngster uh, after they have gone through two years of sixth form. So at the end of sixth form, We'll award them based on the number of passes. However, if the if the youngster is leaving at lower six, so they didn't go on to upper six, they leave lower six and they go on to tertiary education, we'll award them at that time for the number of passes. But the, the top boy and the top girl really um, is for the, the, the CSEC group. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. All right, so we can ask you a question now. Mm-hmm. The, the ratio of boys to girls, which one you find that always come out more, the, 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 the boys are girls. In the well, top boy, top the, girl. I, I, don't the, the, I don't have the ratio to you give you know, the data. But, you don't have the but data. We, have, we have mostly girls, um, you know, passing and, 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 and being awarded. So we, we do award the top boy and the top girl. But if you were here, you would see that we have more girls in the girls. room than boys. I don't know, I, I don't know if you're dead if you study these things, but you could have given a little feel of why you think this is happening because it's not only in that but right across the nation it's right right the girl them are the more more active in all them studies why yeah. why you think that is happening why you think that is happening well it's a number of things you know i, I think we, we we tend to encourage girls more <laughs> you know by doing, doing what when you say what, what, what do by encouraging all right, girls, so, so so we are little hard on the girls in terms of doing their homework and the girls learn a certain kind of discipline while the boys know you know, we say boys will be boys and we we, we know the boys. So we should have blame on the then. We should have blame on the when you say blame on the mean the agency. I think I No, 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 the all all of the agency who have boys and girls in the school. The teacher, <laughs> them, the principal, them because if you say boys will be boys. That no matter. The, the, peer, the parents in particular because girls will be girls. Say it again. I didn't girls not be girls. When you say boys will be boys, girls not be girls. Well, which is true. You know, but I think um, in terms of families, we, 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 we put more emphasis on the girls doing, do, doing well. And, and it may be changing now, you know. We I said doing well, um, yeah. for, for, for lots of families, you know, for, for, for girls to achieve in life, mm. they're going to need an education while, while the boys can be hustlers. You know what I mean? No, um, I don't know where you be. 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 A lot of families, a lot of families. Yeah. Think that the boys think that the boys will, will will manage, but the girls they're they're way out of, of poverty or you know they're they're way yeah. uh, um of not having to rely on a man 
is by pursuing education. You make a point this way, no people, but seriously, when you check your ratio, the youth then need them education as well, not just the girls. Because when time the youth them don't have that education, it, it led to a different way of thinking, way of life, and them have to go up and hustling a rampage, you know. If you do a bag of thing in the street just to make a food, and trust me, it is unfair if you're gonna look at it like that. It's like the man is saying, girls need it more than boy no i think it's equal i think it should be equal you know it should be equal i'm not gonna degrade the boys or the girls i think this it should be equal everybody need to have an education so everybody can get a decent job and nobody have it on rubber and teeth and criminal and prostitute everybody need that you know everybody need to have a chance at education this is the reason why education should be free. It should be. But the government does not look at it like that. But let's continue. Yeah. Right? And, and, and I think in terms of certain disciplines as well. So, you know, the girls have to stay in the house and they have to do their homework. When the boys come home from school, they yeah. go, go play football. <laughs> you understand? And, 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 you know, not every period is going to say, do, do your homework. So there's a certain kind of discipline. That, yeah. that, that a lot of families instill in the girls that we don't necessarily instill in the boys. So I that is a cultural thing. Yeah, it's a cultural thing. But, but you want me to say something, uh, Muta, if you look at the research, and I, I don't have the figures in front of me, yeah. but if you look at the research, when the boys do um, participate fully in education, they do very well. Yeah. They do well, you know. So, so the, the, the data doesn't show that girls uh, outperform boys. But that but that's what that show university what we, and all this. What we, no, what we really see you now is that when, when they get to a certain level, like when they start to get to about grade nine, yeah. the, 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 the boys start to under-participate. Yeah. So, so you have a, a greater performance of girls in, when, it, when it's grade nine, grade ten. You see more girls coming to school than boys. So that is where so the data boys. shows, really, that is where the data shows uh, from yeah, nine yeah. go. That means say uh, what? That, it means uh, it, it, it's, you, you still have to blame the family for that. Uh, so, I mean, when I say family, but the, the society, the culture in general. Oh, the I culture, have, yeah. The yeah, society, man, the culture. Yeah. I think we have to, we have to pay, um, pay greater attention to ensuring that we put equal emphasis on education and the value of education for, mm. both, for both boys and girls. And, uh, and I mean, you know, there's also a school of thought that boys and girls learn differently too. Of and course. I think, you know, in our structure with education system needs to account for that as well. Yes, yes, yes. You know? Yes. All right, let's so, ask you now. <laughs> is this evening is a, is a function? Yeah, man, it's going on right now. All right, what 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 is happening at that function? Apart from the award, will there be a dinner? You know, music playing. Will you put well, so, politicians yeah, come the, there and say what they must say? Yeah, yeah, me. man. So we had we had the, the the junior minister and the minister of education and youth uh, mm. who gave her remarks. Um, our CEO, the Child Protection and Family Services Agency, also you know, they are welcome and give some remarks. Mm. Um, we had a guest speaker. So we had two things. We had a testimonial from a, a former ward of the state who was able. She completed a degree and she's a she's a teacher now. She did very well. She talked about her experience. Um, you know how she came into the care of the state and her experience going from different um, foster homes. And, the, you know, the, 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 the ways in which people poured into her and encouraged her and supported her towards achieving her degree. Um, and as I said before, she's a teacher. She did very, very, very well. We also had a guest, um, a guest speaker who is another ward of this, former ward of the state. Oh, yeah? You know, yeah, man, she, she, she is currently in a master's degree program um, working. And in, in fact, she, when she did her presentation, she talked about how her tuition and boarding and so on was covered by the state because she was awarded the state. So, you know, she, 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 she expressed her gratitude for that. And she talked about her experience going through, going in care, um, the challenges that she had with her own family, um, and just how she had to push. And she encouraged the young, the young persons who were there just mm. to keep pushing because it, it's not these circumstances that you're coming from that define you. Yeah. It's how you respond to them. And how you, you know, you, you leverage the kind of support that you, you have to do well. So the, the guest speaker did very, very well. And we had some light entertainment. We had a singer who did a, a couple of songs, but 
you know, and we had a keyboard player playing some yeah, lunch yeah, music. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that was it. All right. So we want to find out the last question I'm going to ask you, know, right? Yeah, man. In other statistics that you just talked about, where grade, when they reach a certain grade, the boys yeah. them start to back back. What you feel say can be done to alleviate that? And all right, or 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 a, or a person get get into the the the, the state state care, or 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 a child get into state care. What them do to get into right, state care? So a child get into state care yeah. if the child um, was a victim of um, abuse mainly, yeah. or the child was, was neglected or abandoned. Okay. So that is how the, the, the state steps in, and that child is usually, you know, we said brought before the courts for being in need of care and protection. So the government then takes responsibility for ensuring that that care and protection is provided. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so that is how the child comes into the system. Now, the question you asked me about what can be done um, to address the issue of the boys under participating after grade yeah. nine, that is a more, um, that, that requires a, a, a response. That, I mean, a B, yeah, it's very complex. complex. It's complex. Okay. I'm not sure if I'll be able to respond to that um, okay. today, but I think it's something that we need to, to focus on, you know, both from policy side, community yeah. side. Yeah. All right, sir. Well, give thanks, Virgin. Give thanks. <laughs> Yes, man. Blessings. You, you, you make sorry. a note about the organization. We are never real. Well, I, I, I went to, you know, the one down at um, the Catholic Church there, Old Trinity, across the road from, what do you call it again? St. Mary of something like that. I don't know. That's not a government agency. Which one is it again? There is a, 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 a care center. I think it's for mostly female, though. Okay. Opposite, opposite the, the cathedral church on North Street. Oh, oh, I don't think I must have seen it. I don't think I must have seen it. Saying something of something. We'll go around there and I will be pregnant young ladies around there. And they are in the care of the Okay. So, so, that is not a government agency. No, it's not government. Catholic church business, that. Okay. Right. So, so, what we have is basically we have four children under the age of five. Yeah. And we Mm-hmm. We're talking about children's homes and places of safety. Yeah. But the majority of them are, are, are privately owned. Okay. But they are regulated by, 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 by the government. So, yeah, so the government regulates them. So they have to they get a license to operate. Yeah. Um, the children are, are still our children, so they are assigned a children's officer. Mm-hmm. Um, they, 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 they are moni- they are, they, we have a team of monitoring officers that visit the facilities to ensure that the standard of care is being uh, met. Right? Yeah. So they are still our children. It's just that they they, they are yeah, in the yeah, care yeah. and custody uh, of, of a private um, entity. All right, we have to move now, Bridget. Give thanks, yeah? Yes, man. Yes, man. Yeah. Good, good. All right, give thanks. Well, people, this is where we reach, you know, the end. Let me know what I think about the whole entire program and leave your thoughts and opinion down in the comment section and I'll be sure to check it out. And remember, it's a black power movement, so drop a like and definitely subscribe and share to at least one friend or family so they can also be a part of the black power movement with that said again if you know want to watch a full program too the link will be in the description or you can go over to jamaican news now they are the first to put these program out so you can go check them out as well and watch a full entire program catch you in the next one Irie.